a few things. Number one, if you're over the age of 18 and you work, that's right, you're employed and you have a job and a direct deposit set up and you receive a paycheck for, you know, time you've worked. If you're really into sneakers and you're thinking of setting up either, let's say, a StockX account, a GOAT account, or an eBay account, please watch this before you set any of those up because there's another account you should absolutely set up before you do that. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still. What's going on, everybody? It's your girl TJ back. Another video talks with TJ, aka TJ Two Fush T Yeezy MA Two TJ. Thank you again so much for tuning in to another video and just a short discussion video. Now it's not solely aimed at young adults, uh, but hey, anybody over the age of eighteen, I think, could benefit from this. Now, a lot of you are already financially established. You have it together, okay? You prioritize your needs and your wants, and you also take care of future you, which is amazing. However, we know financial literacy is not something that's truly discussed within school systems whatsoever, and a lot of times not even within homes. Now, I think that's a terrible cycle that occurs because it's based on the parents before that generation never having been really educated on it and those conversations not being had in the home with the children, and it just kind of cycles down to further generations. I really wish that would change and I think that maybe just takes at least trying to reach kids who are taking in content because we all consume content these days. Um, maybe that means reaching kids when they are consuming your content over something they're really interested in. So a lot of young adults are interested in sneakers. Now understand this, I get it, gatekeepers, they're not really always here to be down for the stories and the feelings related to a shoe and what it resonates with them. Some of them are truly here to just make a buck and we can't change that, okay? But I at least want to put this out there just as a little bit of advice. You don't have to listen to me, but this is this is one of the biggest regrets, biggest regrets I've had in my entire life, okay? You are able, let's say you're working, you have income, you have disposable income, and maybe you're looking to, hey, uh, I will buy a shoe and I'm looking to flip a shoe. That happens, right? Some people do that so they can acquire a shoe they want even more than the shoe that came out. All of us have done that at one point, okay? We've either resold a shoe to get a shoe we really want or we've bought a shoe and we've traded a shoe. I've done that myself. So if you're gonna set up though, like any of these accounts, okay, on a secondary platform, eBay, StockX, GOAT, doesn't matter. Before you set that account up, and that's those accounts are fairly easy to set up, right? You're quite capable, I'm sure, of setting that account up. You can set up a smartphone, you can set up any one of those accounts. Please set up a Roth IRA account before you set up any of those accounts. Please, that is one of my biggest regrets in life, and I have very few of those because I just feel like the lessons learned are what they are please set up a Roth IRA account. It's just as easy as setting up a StockX or a GOAT or an eBay account. But in doing that, you are truly setting yourself up for success. Like, do you understand what it would mean if you started when you're 18 and you get like your first real job and you're depositing money into that Roth IRA and you don't touch it, you don't do anything with it. You just invest in the S&P index fund and you just, you ride it. You just let it go. You let it do its thing. It's going to ebb and flow. For the people that chose to take their money out last year when everything hit the fan with this country, that was not smart. You could have just kept it in there. It would have bounced back. It, it always really does. And I, I'm just not the person to go picking random stocks because the index seems to really beat out a lot of those people anyway. So if you're really good at that, then go do that. But there is such a simple solution to at least passively try to set yourself up for success in the future when you retire. That's just setting up a Roth IRA. Uh, you put money in every single month. It is capped based on, you know, salaries. The more you make, listen, the more loopholes you really do have to go to go through to be able to put your money certain places. But for uh, a majority of the people, you're able to put up to $6,000 into your Roth IRA every single year. That's $500 a month. Now, if you don't have that $500 a month in disposable income, perfectly fine. Start to put something in there every single month. And there are two different accounts that a lot of people will set up. There are tons of different firms you can use. Um, but you probably have heard of either Vanguard or Fidelity. And when it comes to those two, understand like Vanguard will let you invest in like shares of ETFs, but you have to buy them in whole shares. So let's just say 
you um, a share of a specific index fund. Let's say it's, I don't know, 110, but you only have 100. Okay, well, you would have to wait till you have the 110 in full to be able to purchase that one ETF share. Um, or if you had, let's say, 200, but it is 110 per share, well, you still can't technically purchase two shares. So the additional money left over would just kind of be sitting there until you have other money to add with it to purchase a full share. Uh, Fidelity is a little bit different. They allow you to just deposit a set amount or whatever you would like to deposit towards an index fund. So it's kind of like partial shares. I guess that's an easier way to put it. And I do think that's maybe a better route to go. Um, I may still open a Fidelity account. I have Vanguard right now because that's what my retirement is through for work. A lot of people have um, their retirement set up through Vanguard. So I just opened the personal account and a Roth IRA account there too. But I there's nothing wrong with having multiple. So I may do that in the future. But this is something that we don't really talk about, right? Kids are making hand over fist money and that's great. That's the hustle in them. I know all of us can feel some kind of way about it at one point, but the fact that they're going out there and getting the money, I respect that. I just also want them to take care of future them because you're not always going to be somebody probably on the go hustling left and right, but you want to make sure that you're good to go when you're like 65 plus and maybe you're not, I would hope you're not working anymore, right? I hate, I would hate to see that. So hopefully you wouldn't be working anymore, but it's just as easier for you to set up that investment account as it is for you to set up that StockX account or that GOAT account or eBay account. And in the long run, I just think future you will thank current you for it. And again, it's one of my biggest regrets that I didn't do this when I was 18. It wouldn't have mattered what amount I started to put into there. It would have been better than nothing, right? There, there's, even if you say, oh, well, it's so late to start, at least start, start right now. It's better than never starting. So that's just all I wanted to throw out there today. Um, like I said, kids are making money. Hopefully they're also putting money aside for the future. Now, um, but if you like this video, go ahead, hit the subscribe, hit the like button. I truly appreciate it. I know it's off the beaten path of talking about sneakers traditionally, um, but I don't know that, you know, I've fit into the box of a whole lot, whatever. <laughs> appreciate you guys for tuning in. Have an amazing day. Peace.